My name is Matthew Wolf. I'm the executive director of the King's Theatre. This theatre isn't only a operating theatre, it's an architectural treasure. It opened in 1929 as Brooklyn's most opulent movie and vaudeville palace. It was the Lowe's King's Theatre, attached to the Lowe's Movie Corporation, built by Lowe's himself. People would come decked to the nines to experience the new technology, the moving picture. It was really the crown jewel of the theatre district in Flatbush, Brooklyn, which at that point was the center of Brooklyn culture. It was designed by world-renowned architect Rap and Rap, modeled after the Palace of Versailles and the Paris Opera House. People walk in and the first thing they do is say, wow, you're stepping back in history. You see seven 2,000-pound grand chandeliers, gargoyles that are over nine feet tall. You see hand-etched plaster. You see gold, you see green, you see blue, you see all of these vibrant colors. It is built for the live viewing experience. In 1977, the building closed its doors. So one of the greatest things about this project is that it is a historic restoration after 40 years of the theater sitting vacant. It was exposed to the elements. There was significant damage. There was a giant hole in the roof, so all of the plaster had fallen down. It was on the floor. The amount of detail and skill that it took to revitalize this theater is really a Herculean task. All of the plaster work was actually hand painted, layer by layer. You see original chandeliers next to recreated chandeliers, and you can't tell the difference. That's one of the artistic triumphs of the restoration process. Part of the restoration was bringing everything up to date. We've made the seats larger. We've re-poured the concrete on the floors so that they're sloped. This theater provides a taste of the opulent 1920s. No matter what the show is, whether it's an indie band, a gospel play, whether it's a reggae show, everybody will have an opportunity to come to the King's Theater and enjoy it. We're not creating something new. What we're doing is giving life to something old, something that's cherished in the heart of all Brooklynites, something that has great meaning to the people in this neighborhood, something that is historic 